Hi and welcome to Encore, I'm Connor. And today we're at the other palace to meet the lovely cast members of Showstoppers. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. So for people out there who don't know anything about Showstoppers, who have literally lived under a rock, <laughs> tell us about the show. <laughs> well, Showstopper is a completely fully improvised musical, like a West End style musical with singing, with dancing, with storylines, with characters, the whole thing. It's a full evening show. It just happens to be completely made up on the spot um, based on audience suggestions. So every night, completely new musical. That's right. So Basically, the, the setup is this. <clears throat> there is a writer of musicals who is on the phone to the producer, uh, and the producer basically says, I need a new musical, I need one now. And the writer is out of ideas. Um, in this case, he's literally written more than a thousand, uh, which is true. We've literally <laughs> done a thousand, more than a thousand shows. So uh, he then goes to the audience and says, OK, look, I need your help. Where is it set? What is the setting for this musical? And the audience shouts some stuff out, uh, and then we get them to vote by shouting, on cheering on the one that they like. Uh, and then also we get styles of music. So I'll say what musicals, and we'll do things in the styles of those musicals. So it could be from, you know, style of Hamilton or the style of, you know, Cats or whatever. Um, and then uh, get the title. And then that's it. The band, which we have a full band, and the band starts playing, improvising a, a vamp. Uh, then uh, the cast have to come on and just do an opening number of a brand new musical without knowing what the hell is going on. Oh, you've done over a thousand, as you say. Is there one evening or one musical that you've created for that one night that sticks in your head that you still sort of remember? I do remember the very first one we did. The Shifting Sands of Time. Shifting Sands of Time. I remember part of the song of it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Misty and Archie in the shifting sands right. of time. Wow, you put me back. There you go. There's certainly things that um, that stand out, like our very our very first um, West End show when we did the first run at the Apollo. I mean, that was just because it was a culmination of you know so much hard work and kind of just sheer will. Yeah. <laughs> there are some weird ones. So I remember uh, one, one uh, Edinburgh, this Edinburgh recently, was memorable because it was so touching. It was, it was uh, about uh, a member of the audience and he said, um, where do you want it set? And he put his hand up. I said, yeah, where? And he said, in my mother's head. Mm. I was like, okay, all right. And we, I didn't ask any more than that because we want to be inspired by the mm -hmm. idea, but not like, you know, a slave to it. And we did something which was a story about uh, a woman at the end of her life who was losing her memory. Uh, it was a very touching oh. story, it was a beautiful story. Um, yeah, it was really lovely. And it was, a, it was just a, I mean, it was, had all its funny moments, but it was a really sort of touching, emotional show. Mm. And the guy, that was exactly what was happening to his mother, it turned out in the end. We asked him, he was like, no, that's actually what's happening to my mother. The beauty about theatre, and we all enjoy the beauty about theatre, is the fact that you are effectively locked into a space with some actors, and it's always good storytelling. But obviously the bonus to West End Theatre is it is the same story, whereas with you guys, you are locked into a room and no one knows what's going to happen. Yep. Yeah, I'm always amazed people come really, because <laughs> I mean, you're taking a massive risk, you know. I mean, we, we know that it's, that it's going to be all right. Mm. Uh, it's going to be OK, guys. <laughs> uh, but an audience, is, especially if they've never seen Impro before and they've never seen us before, um, because it's kind of like, that's a, that's a crazy thing. Like, come and see our show, we haven't written it. It is, but uh, one but of the problems we've always had, it's really interesting, trying to pitch the show around the world, you know, yeah. or put it on in Broadway or whatever, and, or, or just on TV or anything like that. Fundamentally, the idea of improvising a musical, and musicals are one of the most, you know, uh, honed, precise, mm. and also, you know, famously argued about form, uh, and we're just going to make it up on the spot. It's basically a terrible idea. <laughs> but it works. It does, it does work. Yeah. You've just celebrated yeah. your a thousandth performance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? obviously, what can people expect from an evening here, though? What are five uh, things people can expect? Well, five things. It's going to be funny. Yes. Uh, there's, no, uh, there's no doubt about that. And it's always funny just because impro is funny. You don't have to try to be funny. You just, you're making something up. It's mm. gonna, so it's going to be funny. It's never going to be less than entertaining, you, you know. Yeah, which I, is different from funny, because yeah. it's funny in the sense of you just got some very, very, en just very, very good kind of comic actors and actresses, and think funny things will occur to them, funny characters and mm -hmm. situations, and because it's improvised. So there's there's that side of literally they're just really good at coming up with those sorts of things. But the second thing is the entertainment value. You're literally watching people do what should be impossible, which is try to construct a fully realised musical, and it's just interesting to watch. So that's the entertainment. Those, bit. those two things. Uh, you're going to get really good songs uh, because our band are incredible, yeah, and also even the ones that are not. Uh, you know that you're kind of watching, going, how, how, what is this? How are they going to do this? Like it's still watching people with like full-on commitment. I mean, hopefully, you're going to get a satisfying story. That's what we're aiming for, like a satisfying, uh, you know, something that when you leave, you go, oh yeah, that was that story. And even ones that we've gone, 
oh, I don't know what that story was about. The audience will tell us afterwards. Mm. Yeah, because we may get more lost than they do because they're yeah, watching it. They're watching We're busy, it. Yeah. But, but all yeah. they've got to do is watch and they go, no, no, no. Like no that go, oh, this made no. sense because this happened here and this person did this. And then and you're like, oh, right. Good. Yeah, yeah I meant that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I that's I four, isn't one. it? You do the fifth because right, I've run out. Because uh, the fifth one This is how improv works. The fifth one is the fact they're going to see a show that no one has ever seen before that they uniquely participated in that couldn't have existed without them yeah. uh, and that will never ever be seen again. Yeah, and but that's the kind of the joy of it is that you go, this could only happen in this room with these people, with this audience. It, it couldn't, have, it, you know, take away one of those things and a different thing would happen. Yeah, and so in some senses, every show is the right show yeah. because the audience has voted for it. They're literally decided, shouting out for it yeah. and they're, they're the ones who made it happen. So it's, it's incredibly exciting. Because in the structure of the show, you basically have, I play usually the writer, so I'm supposed to be writing the musical. Um, and I, therefore I take credit for great scenes. <laughs> but also is, is to keep it so it's fresh. So if a scene is uh, something that we've seen before and there's nothing unexpected and the actors are a little bit comfortable going, oh, this is fine, but you know, then that is the time where I'll come in and go, uh, as uh, uh, the other director, Adam Megiddo, puts it, uh, wobble the tightrope. You know, and uh, go back to the audience and say, you know, what would make this an amazing, rather than just being, it's a good scene, it's great, fine, okay. They're falling in love with each other. What would make it an amazing scene? Like if you were a director and you went, what we need now is a troupe of dancing elephants and go, mm. great, troupe of dancing elephants. And then the cast has to go, oh my God, how are we gonna do that? So how long are you here? If people want to come and see Showstoppers, how long are you here? We are here until the 16th of March, uh, Mondays through Saturdays. Interestingly, we've got on Fridays a 5.30 show and an 8.30 show. So people like finish their work. The idea is, see if, if it's helpful for them, they can then go and see the show and then go home or see the show and then eat or they can have a late show. And then Saturday we've got a matinee in, uh, you know, in the early afternoon as well. So Perfect. lots of opportunities. And we're also on lots. tour for those people who are not in London. Yes, we, we are. are touring at the same time as doing our residency I know. here. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be all over the place. Lots and yeah. lots of tips. You have to go to our website and then... Uh, you know. Busy, busy, busy. There is no excuse not to see Showstoppers. For all the latest news and tour dates, check out EncoreRadio.co.uk.